This chapter is intended to provide the minimum configuration to start your motor. Danger. Unintended equipment operation. Before turning the drive on or on exiting the configuration menus, check that the inputs assigned to the run command are deactivated at state zero, since they can cause the motor to start immediately. Failure to follow these instructions will result in death or serious injury. Please consult the Altivar 212 programming manual available online at www.schneider-electric.com for additional information and instruction. The Altivar 212 embedded display terminal has three modes of operation, monitoring, run, and programming. The drive powers up in the run mode. To select a different mode, use the mode key to cycle between modes. The red LED on the left side of the display indicates the current mode selected, RUN for the run mode, PRG for the programming mode, and MON for the monitoring mode. Turn on the device so that the hello message is displayed, followed by the 0.0, .0 on the LED screen. The drive is shipped from the factory configured for operation at 50 Hz incoming power. We will change the minimum number of parameters needed to start the drive and motor. These parameters are related to the motor you have connected. Having the following data from the motor nameplate readily available will allow you to configure these parameters in just a few minutes. Motor rated current, also called full load amps. Motor rated voltage and motor thermal protection setting. Often this is the same value as the motor rated current. First. Let's configure the drive for operation at 60 Hz. While this screen is being displayed, push the mode button, which will bring you into the programming mode. AUF will be displayed on the screen once you are in the programming mode. From here, navigate to TYP, Parameter Reset, by pressing the down button 24 times until the TYP is displayed on the screen. Press ENT. Use the up or down arrow keys until 2 is displayed and press ENT to save your choice. The device will restart and go back to the start screen with your changes saved. Setting the TYP parameter to 2 sets specific parameters to values suitable for 60 Hz incoming frequency. For more information, see the table on pages 166 and 167 of the Altivar 212 programming manual for a list of parameters that are affected by this reset action and their resultant values. Next, we will configure the motor thermal protection, labeled THR. Push the mode button, which will bring you into the programming mode. With AUF displayed, navigate down 13 steps to THR. Press ENT. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the correct value equal to your motor thermal protection setting. Press ENT. This value will be set in amps. Next, we will configure the motor rated voltage, labeled ULU. Navigate down to ULU. Press ENT. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the correct value equal to your nominal motor voltage. Press ENT again. Next, we will configure the low speed setting, labeled LL. Navigate down to LL. Press ENT. The factory setting for this device is 0 Hz. The recommendation is to set this value to 5 or 10 Hz so that a run command will cause the motor to rotate at a minimum speed. You can set this to another value for your application. Next, we will configure nominal motor current, parameter F415. Navigate to the F dash 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 menu. Press ENT. Use the arrow keys to navigate to F415 and press enter. Use the arrow keys to navigate to the correct value equal to your nominal motor voltage current from the motor nameplate. This value will be set in amps. Press ENT, then mode, to place the drive in run mode. 
Congratulations, you have configured your drive. Close all enclosure doors and perform any necessary checks.